Okay, we made a video recently regarding four keys to remember when diagnosing a Volkswagen clutchless compressor. And I wanted to make a slight update because this HVAC computer is a UDS type computer. So as I said in the other video, you need to check for compressor shutoff codes. But on this one, since it's a UDS computer, you can't go to measuring blocks. It's grayed out. You have to go to advanced measuring values here. And over here at our right, we have to pick what we want from this list. It's a little confusing because the terminology is slightly different. But right here we have compressor shutoff requirement. And that's the compressor shutoff code. And after I select it, you see this stuff appears in the window here. It says shutoff requirement, compressor active, no shutoff condition is present. Now there are an interesting side note. This computer being more advanced has some other things that we could use if we had an intermittent problem. As I scroll down, you will see compressor shutoff condition, compressor shutoff requirement, compressor shutoff requirement. And what pops up over here is compressor shutoff condition last. And that would be the last thing that turned off the compressor. This is what is currently happening. This is the last thing. And this says compressor shutoff requirement. Let me scroll over here. Penultimate. And this says compressor shutoff requirement anti-penultimate. I didn't know what those words meant, but my employee did. He said his name is Cortland, and he said penultimate is second to the last. And then we figured out that anti-penultimate is third to the last. So this is, the, this is what's currently turning off the compressor if there's an active code there. This is the last thing that turned it off. So if you have an intermittent problem, you might be able to use that information. And this is the second to the last thing that turned it off. And this is the third to the last thing that turned it off. None of these is actually going on with this car. The compressor is active, yet it's not working. It's a stuck refrigerant control valve, just like most of them have. But I thought this UDS uh, terminology might be important to share.